Hey guys, Craig again. We're going to learn more about Python and Pygame. This is lesson number seven. There are six previous videos taking you all the way from a blank screen to this type of application you see in front of you. Again, this uh, video is for Python and Pygame on Android mobile phones. So the uh, purpose of the video is to take you all the way to get to a mobile phone. This is where we left off. The last video. So there's a girl, it's going around, functions on a touch screen, uh, there's bounce detection. Right now people want to, they want to go um, collision. They want to see what happens if the player collides with a monster or you shoot a bullet and the collision happens. Based on that you can take some type of action. We're going to get into that right now. In order to collide with things I created some graphics. This is the girl from the previous game. Just as a recap, this is the splash screen for your Android mobile phone when the game first comes up. This is optional. This graphic is the icon that appears on your phone. Um, when you click on it or you, you tap on it, it launches the application. So this is for the application launcher. This is a splash screen. This is a girl from the previous. This is a static map background. So this is not a tile map. This is just one image that's 480 times 320 pixels. Uh, if, this is, if you haven't seen the previous videos, it's just you drop down into them. But if you have, let's continue moving forward. So the first thing is I'm going to make the girl, um, a, or a zombie chase the girl. So there's this new zombie.png, which we're going to use. I'm not using the key or the heart right now. Eventually, I guess the girl will find love or a treasure in some... Uh, subsequent videos but let's first have the zombie chase the girl so recap we have the girl surface which is an image and there's a there's a player ripped so this is what we're moving around to uh, to, to blip the girl to the screen Get the zombie going. It's just a graphics file. Convert up convert alpha is optional, but it will speed up the game slightly. And then we need a zombie rect or a rectangle to contain the zombie. So from a surface you can use this method here get rect to generate a rectangle from the surface. These coordinates are the center x and center y position of where the zombie will first appear in the game. 470, again, all the way, well, pretty close to all the way to the right-hand side of the screen. The screen in this game is 480 pixels wide. 470 will place it 10 pixels from the right edge. 20, uh, or center Y equals, well, that's actually center X. So the center point will be uh, 10 pixels from the right edge. And the center point for Y will be 20 pixels down from the top of the screen. So it's going to appear in the upper right hand side of the screen. We're going to blit the zombie. Okay, so at this point, there's a little zombie in the upper right-hand corner. Zombie's not moving. 
the girl's moving. There's no collision detection. He's just, he's just there. He's not scary. So, let's make the zombie move. See what happens now. The zombie is chasing the girl only in a X axis and he's only chasing her in one direction. If she goes the opposite direction, he'll just stop right now, <coughs> right now. However, if the girl is to his left, he'll chase her. How this works, the zombie checks to see where the girl, remember the girl's rectangle is player underscore rect with the center x. So if the girl center x is less than the zombie center x, meaning that the girl is to the left of the zombie, we move the zombie one pixel to the left. You subtract one from the center x of the zombie. <clears throat> that will move the zombie one pixel to the left every time through the loop. Let's make them chase her to the right. And let's see whether he chases her. Okay, so he's chasing her to the uh, to the left right now, and he's not chasing her to the right. It's because I didn't do anything. Okay, run, run. Oh, look, he's chasing her to the right and to the left. Let's have her, let's have him chase her up and down the screen. Okay. Evidently, it's pretty popular in my son's group to watch The Walking Dead. So I think zombies are pretty popular right now. Okay. So the zombie is now chasing the girl up and down the screen, left and right. It looks kind of odd because realistically, he's going backwards so let's change him fortunately I have a graphic zombie right I'm going to create another surface called zombie underscore right. I'm going to use the same rectangle. Uh, I'm just loading a separate image where the zombie is facing to the right. And we're calling that zombie underscore right. Okay. I'm going to create a text variable. 
trap the horizontal movement of the zombie. And I'll change the, I'll create up a little if statement. When I blit the zombie. So blitting him right here. Let's just change that. Okay, so if the zombie horizontal uh, direction is right then we're gonna blit the right facing zombie on the zombie right or else we must be left right so I don't I don't need to see else if left else uh, blit the left facing image of the zombie which is the original one onto the zombie rectangle There he goes, there he goes. Ah. Okay, let's set up the collision. So, If uh, the, the key command is collide rect, right? So if the player underscore rect dot collide rect hits the zombie rect, the player so the player rect collides with the zombie rect, then let's fill the screen with red. Okay, run, run. See what happens. Ah. The zombie gets her. Run, run. Okay, so obviously the first inclination is let's give the girl a gun and have her shoot the zombie, possibly in the head. That's another Clyde wrecked. Um, so we'll do that so the girl can defend herself. But Right now, you have the basics of using uh, Clyde Rect to detect when an action takes place. So you could have lives or other things that happen. Or just a very simple thing of making the entire screen red right here when the player Rect collides with the zombie. The key thing is there's a rectangle the player and the rectangle with the zombie. If the two rectangles collide, uh, and the key method here is collide rect, then take some action. The action I am taking right now is filling the screen with red. This section here is basically for aesthetics. You don't have to do this. You don't have to make the zombie go left and right, but he did look a little odd walking backwards. So uh, in that image of the zombie, Unlike the girl, you probably do need a left and right. You can have them run around the screen too if you watch the animation uh, video, uh, animation tutorial that I have, but maybe keep it simple for now and focus on Clyde Rick. Okay, that's it for, the, for this lesson. I would suggest you practice this a number of times. Collision detection of rectangles is really 
a basic of game programming either on the phone or on the desktop uh, <clears throat> most things are just are represented as rectangles and if you can figure out how to use collide rec properly you'll advance in your in your uh, game programming quite a bit next time we'll have our probably have a series of uh, bullets.